What's up? My name is Sean Roselt, and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we will learn about Delphi class helpers. So in the previous video, we made this um, program that just simply goes and converts um, these variables into a string and then shows them. So in this video, we're going to be learning about class helpers. So class helpers was introduced a few years ago. It's basically there to add extra functionality to classes. Um, but in this video, we will just simply look at the default built-in class helpers to convert different variables um, from one to, an, to another one. Okay. Let's also just, just disable my desktop audio. Okay. And yes, so let's get into it. Um, okay. So as you can see here, in a previous video, we learned about these functions to convert um, the different variables. But here, you don't have to use them. There's a different way to do it, and that is, that is class helpers. So let's learn about class helpers. Show message. So, so instead of saying int to str, which is quite a long way to do it, we can just simply call the variable, which is i age, and then we say dot to string. Oops. Dot to string, as you can see. Uh, we can, you can also add the brackets at the end if you want. I'm not going to. Actually, I want to. Okay. Um, same goes for same goes for the double year. Show message. The variable name. Dot to string. Then again here. Show message. The variable name. Dot. Oh come on. Dot to string. Let's take this one out. Okay, you can also you can also do the do the same for booleans because booleans actually actually contains an integer value. So if it's false, then int the integer value is zero, and if it's true, then it's minus one. So let's make it true. You'll see that uh, it's now going to be negative one. So you're going to say show message. Then the boolean name dot to string. Oh come on. Dot to string. And let's also do an, an, another one where we just simply change it to false just to see the difference. And then of course the character will always just simply display. So let's compile and see if this works. And it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. As you can see yeah, that it's minus the minus one, the previous one. Let's just do it again. I guess here you can see minus one is the true one, the true boolean, and the zero is the false one. Okay, so in the future videos, I will be using class helpers instead of these functions. Um, so, just, so, so just keep that, that in mind. Um, let's go and learn a bit more about class helpers. We will cover uh, more about class helpers in future videos. This, this is just a basic introduction towards it. Okay, let's add a button. Another, another button. Let's see other ways on how we can convert variables. Okay, let's say show message. We can also simply type a number here, one, two, three, and then say dot to string. Instead of saying you would have said in the past um, int to str, one, two, three. You can say in the past you would have said it like this. But now you can just simply say one two three dot to string. Okay. Show message. Okay. You can also do calculations this way. For instance, you can have um, two brackets here. Okay. Inside of two brackets, so you can simply here say one, pl one plus two plus three and then dot to string. So as you can see here. You have the three calculations in the brackets and then dot to string. Let's compile this. And let's move it here. Click we click on the second button. And here you'll see it was it was it will now it will, it will now display the one to three. 
and here it, it, it added the one to three up together okay so you can also do calculations within the brackets and then take it to string um okay, let's make a um let's do, do something else okay show message actually let's just leave leave that out for now i will be in a future video but you can for instance go and make a integer and see how you can convert it back so i sum equals let's have a string that ha that contains three to one and then you can say, simply say dot to integer okay so now, it's, now we are converting it from a string to an integer and this would have um, looked like this the old way as you can see so yes this, this is the new way and if you guys go and look you'll see that it also has many many many, many different stuff you can take it to you can get the maximum value the minimum value but this is not class helpers it's just, just a constant but here is a class helper so you can take it to a string to a boolean to a x string to a single to a double to extended etc and if we have for instance um a string string also has many many different um, built-in ones we will look at all of them in future videos but for now let's just look at all of these okay as you can see here you can take it all of them um yeah but we will look at them in the, in the future but here are some of them you can um, go and play around so long and see what all of them actually does so most variables um maybe all of them um has class helpers and you can utilize these class helpers so that's basically it for this video guys i just simply wanted to introduce you to class helpers and in future videos we will learn how to make our own class helpers as well as how to extend an existing class with class helpers and we and we will dive into the built-in default ones as well so yeah thank you for watching this video guys if this video helped you in any way then make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos also if you want to check out my social media you can check out my social media account here on the left side of the screen and you can go and follow me on my social media accounts and yeah once again if you enjoyed this video then make sure to watch again bye bye